Hi everyone, welcome to Financial Accounting Online. I wanted to give you a video so you could get acclimated to the course and to understand where everything is that you need to do. All right, so for any of you who have not been uh, in a Raritan Valley course, we use something called Canvas. That is our learning management system, LMS, and that's where you access all of your materials for your coursework. All right, at least the initial place. It's kind of like if any of you ever worked in Google Classroom or something like that. It's basically Google Classroom, but college level. All right, so if you went to the main Raritan Valley webpage, there's a bunch of different ways you can get to Canvas, but I'm giving you the most straightforward in my mind. You can go to raritanvalley.edu, you're on the main page. You can scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you have a link to Canvas right there. Now, it should prompt you for your G number and password. It already knows mine, so it has me already set up. Um, and all of your active classes should show up in here. Right now, you guys are not active because I haven't published it yet, but you will be shortly after I do this video. So you can click on here for Accounting 101.97. And what you'll do is, well, let me get, let me put myself into student view so you can see the same thing. There we go. All right, so this is what you would see when you log in. Now you have announcements. If I send an announcement to the course, it will be in here, and you can see that there's several of them that I have yet to delete from a previous time I taught this class. Um, I have to go through and take a look at those. Um, but in addition to there, all right, so home, the home page to begin with is kind of an introduction to the course to talk about what your expectations are and so on. So just take a quick read through that. If um, you click on modules here, this is really gonna be one of the main places that you get most of your materials. So I've got a getting started module, which this video will be placed in for you to be able to find easily. And in here, I've got a copy of your syllabus and a copy of a calendar. All right, the calendar is just an Excel calendar. This is actually what it looks like. Um, I just tend to keep it a copy for myself in Excel because it's the way I like to look at a calendar. So you have all of your due dates in here for the current, um, for the current term. If you click on the syllabus, it does talk to you about the expectations for the course, um, you know, uh, how you can reach me, who the department chair is, what you're gonna learn, and the weightings of all the different assignments. So exams are worth about half of your grade. You've got homework worth 30% of your grade. You've got discussion forums and you've got lecture quizzes. All right, so all of those added together get you to your 100% of your grade. Okay, you can see the grade distribution here. And what I've got is I've kind of got um, a simplified version of that Excel calendar you just saw in here is a weekly course schedule. Now I say it says weekly, but it's really not weekly because some things are due, some things are um, due midweek, some things are due at the end of the week. It just depends on what the assignment is. Like for example, for chapter two, I give you a bunch of time to do that chapter because it's really, really important. All right, but other chapters I may only give you a week to do and so on. So you can go look at this, it's in here. Um, take your time. And of course, there's some additional information in here. There's accommodations for students with disabilities. There's um, a resource center on campus. So if you ever find yourself short of a meal or in need of something else, um, I say meals just because that's really one of the most common reasons students go to the resource center. Um, but you can see the resources that are available here. But no names, no anything. You go in, you take what you need, no questions asked. So I thought it was important to include that in here. Basic code of conduct, code of conduct, suicide prevention. It's not just suicide. It's if you need help in some way. Um, we've got campus resources. We have counselors on staff at Raritan that can help you in any way. Most ways. All right, let me close out of this. I gotta move myself. All right. The, this welcome video is going to go right here and you have an introduction. You also have some information about buying the book, but I'll show you that in just a minute. All right, let me go back to modules. The first thing you have to do in this class is your introduction. It's due on 919. So you start on the 15th. The first actual due assignment you have is your introduction. Just make sure you read through it to get a full, full points. Um, I posted my introduction in here already. But what I'm looking for is I'm looking for your original post to be 250 to 300 words and replying to at least two other students. I skipped the word two. I'm going to have to fix that. <laughs> to two other students um, with at least 100 words each. Okay, so that's your that's an easy one into getting to know you one. All right. Now each module, each chapter is a module. And each chapter has exactly the same types of assignments. I'm not looking to trick you. I'm not looking to give you extra work or, you know, some weeks have some things and some weeks have other things. Really every week is, I mean, every chapter is going to be set up exactly the same way. So that should give you some comfort. Once you have it down, you have it down. All right. So if you click here on the intro, right, I say intro. You have a lot of materials in here. 
You have my write-up of what's in this chapter. You also have um, a student guide, and you'll see what that is momentarily. Uh, well, you know, I'll click on it now just to show. Of course not. Of course it's not working right this second. All right, I'll fix that too. <laughs> um, you have a PowerPoint that is um, that is the publisher PowerPoint, and if that helps you keep on track and learn the material, that's fine. Okay, let me go back a second. Let's go back to modules. So what you have in here, right? The chapter one, that's, like I said, the intro is the intro. And then what you have is you have lectures. And it's me teaching the lecture to you in little videos, just like this one. So if you were to click on one of these, it's going to bring you out to YouTube where the lecture is. We're going to dismiss this. Hi everyone, this is Professor Anderson. And see, there you go. Just like, me, just like what you're listening to right now, double Professor Anderson's. All right, so... Go back to modules. You'll have one of these. Um, they're about eight to ten minutes long, usually, and they're for each, you know, I do them in each chapter. And the idea is that's my version of lecturing to you. That's my version of teaching you the material, so it's not just you learning from the book. And what you have in here is that student guide that I was saying was in there. There you go. Somehow the link was broken to the other one. What it is is as I go through the lecture, just like this, you should have this student guide in front of you. It's a review guide. And what I do is I populate it and you can use it to take notes from as you watch the videos. Okay. So if you have this, you can print it to, you know, print it if you want it on paper. You can download it because it's in, because it's in Word. You can type directly into it. Whatever you wanted to do with this, it's here for you. All right. So this is this, this is the outline of what I cover in those videos. All right. And like, you know, you kind of want to probably have this printed because what you're going to do is you're going to write in it. You're going to follow along as I teach my lecture. All right, back for a second. Now, these are all just supportive materials for you, right? Nothing so far is graded in all the things I've mentioned, right? Um, this is the lecture. Here's the student guide. You fill it in as you go. What is graded is the lecture quiz. So each one of the chapters has this little lecture quiz. And the idea is that I just test you on some of the really high level things that I just taught in those in this chapter for lectures. All right, so um, you can take it up to three times and I keep the highest score. Not too bad, right? All right, so he tells you it takes the quiz, it's 15 minutes, you have three attempts, and so on. Okay. Now, sometimes I ask questions directly from the lectures, sometimes, uh, well, really all of them. Every, th every time I made one of these quizzes, I made sure it was something that I did discuss in the lecture. So it's not like I'm sneaking in a question from the book or anything, they're purely from those lectures. Okay, so the lecture quiz, that's your, really your first thing graded. Beyond that, you have something called the homework discussion uh, question, which is in the discussion forum. And what you're going to do in here is you're going to kind of work out the homework with each other. So in the sense of that you're stuck on a problem, you might be like, hey guys, on problem 1-3, I cannot get past this point. Can anybody give me some guidance? And the idea is that you help one another in this forum. Or even if you um, are struggling with difficult concepts in a particular chapter, you can be like, can somebody explain to me FIFO? I'm just totally not getting it. All right. Yes, that's an accounting term. Um, but you can see how I grade these. I put it right here on how I grade each one of these. And I'm, I'm very objective in my grading. If it's a question, it gets 50 points. If it's, uh, you know, if it's a question and a response, it gets, it gets both um, 100 points. So I'm very, very specific and very objective in how I grade these. So just make sure you meet the criteria and you'll be fine. All right, back it up again. So you've got the quiz, you've got the discussion questions. Now you have the homework. The homework is done in my accounting labs. My accounting labs is the publisher resource and it's where you're going to do the homework and it's where you're, to, where you're going to take your exams. Okay. Now, before I click into there, I'm going to show you chapter two set up exactly the same way. Chapter three set up exactly the same way. Um, you do have a discussion forum that's kind of an overall, like I wanted you to do a little research on accounting careers and that's due on October 12th. So you have some time to get that one done. And then you have your exam. All right. So that structure is going to be exactly the same way for each one of these. The exam will be taken in my labs, as I mentioned. All right, so let's, where, what is my labs and how do I get into it? So what I suggest to students is you click on my lab and mastering. Right now it thinks I'm a student, so it's going it, to, it, it's a little, well, you'll see, I'll show you exactly what I see. Um, you'll click on the orange button in the middle. You'll agree to the agreement. And then what you're going to do is you're going to register, right? It's not accepting it because it's not September 15th yet. Uh, class hasn't officially started. Let me 
Let me do this a different way. Let me do this as an instructor. So this way, maybe you can see a little bit more. Um, you will register. Okay. You'll register. And at the, as it gets to the point where, you know, you fill in your name, your username, you can use whatever email address you want. Um, you fill in your username, uh, password, uh, security question and so on. And what it'll come up with is actually, I think I may have a screenshot of it. It's not there. I might have a screenshot of what you see. I tried to capture it. There. Yes. This is a screenshot of what you'll see once you register. And what it's asking you is it's saying, if you have an access code, if you went to the bookstore and you purchased the book that way, and you have an access code that comes packaged in with the book, you would input it here with this access code. This is again, in my, my labs, if, um, you wanted to buy the book right now, I want to say, oh, not even the book, but buy access to my accounting labs. It's $84.99. It's right here. If you wanted to buy my accounting labs and the e-textbook, I want to say it's one, I think it's one, I want to say it shows 144, but I think it was che cheaper than that in my class. I'm not totally sure. Um, it's definitely cheaper than the bookstore though. So it's up to you how you want to buy the book. Regardless of how you decide you're going to buy the book, you can click here, this temp on this little hyperlink down here, um, when you're logging in, it says get temporary access without payment for 14 days. So what you can do is you can decide whether or not you like the e-textbook, right? You can have full access to everything for the two weeks. And then at the end of two weeks, you can decide you're going to buy the, the, just the access with the here, uh, the $84.99, or are you going to buy the access with the textbook, which is of course more money because it's the e-textbook. Or do you really, really want a copy of the paper textbook? Or you can mix and match. I don't really care how you decide what you decide to do. You can buy the $84.99 access to my labs, which you absolutely 100% need the access to the my labs. But maybe you can get a cheaper copy, paper copy of the book from somewhere, you know, as a secondhand book. And if it's cheaper than the price difference between the $84.99 and the $144, then you win. All right. So we can talk about that if you've got questions, I'm happy to talk about it. But for right now, you just click on this temporary access and you're in and you're into everything. Okay. So the assignments, like I said, are not available yet because it's not the 15th and I didn't start, they're not populating yet. Um, but you can see, I'll show you kind of what they're going to look like. So oh, this is just showing. All right. So chapter one homework. I will do it as if I'm you preview and your homework problems are going to be here and you'll, you know, decide E E I, uh, you can read what it's about. You can check your answers. You can do the homework over and over again until you get to a hundred. It's completely up to you. All right. So I think that's about it for now. Oh, there's one other thing I want to show you. So great in here. Mm, that's not going to work. Right now, you guys are not populated in here. Let me go back and make myself a student again. There you go, student. If I wanted to know what I needed to get on an assignment to better my grade, you can kind of do what ifs. What if I had an 80 here? What if I had a hundred here? What if I have a 70 on the quiz? What if I have a 65 on the homework? Right? And so on. What it can do, what it'll do. I mean, as soon as you click out of this, it'll wipe itself out, but it does give you a, what if, what would my grade be? That is not right. <laughs> I've got to go in and fix that. A um, couple of things I still need to fix, but at least it gives you, at least I've given you kind of the layout of the course. All right. So if you have any questions, we can absolutely talk. You want to talk about anything? You want to go through stuff in zoom? I'm happy to do that. Just reach out to me. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Have a nice day. I'll see you on the 15th. Bye.